I think this will just be interesting for our listeners in general. If there are any historians who you view as uh, very legitimate, good historians who do take the opposite position to yours. Well, I'll put it this way. Firstly, to begin with, um, Arab historiography in general is constricted by the fact that um, the Arab states are all dictatorships, and they mm. put in jail people who say things they don't like and sometimes kill them. And Arab societies live under these dictatorships and thinks, think in these terms that they one should not be self-critical, that um, self-criticism shows that you're helping the enemy and that uh, you are not really a, a loyal citizen of your own country. And this applies to Palestinian so-called historians and historians. In other words, Palestinians are uh, Palestinians such as Rashid Khalidi, who are um, aware of the possible danger to themselves um, if they write to critically about their own side, um, uh, restrict themselves and, and um, uh, delimit their um, self-criticism or criticism of their side. And uh, the same applies to um, uh, publishing facts, which uh, would put them in a bad light. Um, Palestinian historians who live in Palestine uh, also have, have to fear being actually stabbed in the back, literally, by somebody who doesn't like what they're writing. People like Rashid Khalidi, who live in America perhaps, have to worry about maybe they'll come and visit Israel, maybe their families live in East Jerusalem, and themselves could be targeted if they step too much out of line. So um, there is a reason for why the Palestinians don't break ranks, Palestinian intellectuals. This is part of the reason. The other part is they don't have a state, and they haven't succeeded in their struggle for independence and statehood, uh, and they feel that if they um, write critically about their own side and give ammunition, so-called, to the other side, uh, they will do, be doing a disservice to their uh, aspirations for statehood um, and uh, freedom, uh, as they would put it. Um, whereas Jewish historians or Israeli historians have a state, uh, they're not uh, targeted uh, by... Um, uh, people who don't like what they write, uh, they won't be killed. Uh, they might be denied uh, promotions. They might be denied um, uh, grants, um, uh, but but they or jobs, in fact. But but they they won't be physically in danger or their families physically in danger if they write things critical of the Israeli side. So there is a asymmetry between the historiography of both sides, partly generated by the situation of the historians on each side. Living in a dem democracy is, um, enables you to write a history a properly a, and self-critically, and that's why there are Israelis like Ilan Pape or myself. <laughs>